What's up, folks? It's Monday night. Big Sean Kramer's wheels with a Z. With a Z, baby. And of course, as per the usual, that means it's time for Grapple Pro TV. And we've got a big one for you lined up right now as we see Marcel Horn entering the arena right now. And this kid has such a huge upside and a really bright future. But he's still looking to kind of catch some traction here in Grapple Pro. Yes. And a tough task here tonight against that man. Anthony Musso bust something that's not his. Yeah, busting out the old Daddy Yeah heavyweight championship for the match tonight. I think he wants to assert his dominance of what he's done thus far in Grapple Pro and Old Daddy Yeah production. He wants to uh, continue to be an issue and continue to cause trouble because he hasn't received that championship rematch he so desires yet. But the facts are, Wheels, and you're not going to argue with me on this at all. The facts are that championship right there has been retired. The only Grapple Pro heavyweight champion is and will remain Mr. Fancy. He is the current champion. I agree with that 100%. However, it's yet to be determined who will take him out for that championship. No, it's uh, it's up in the air, that's for sure. And we've got lots of great contests to bring you, and Mr. Fancy's going to be involved in a lot of them. And that title will be on the line, folks. But right now, it is Marcel Ford. It is Anthony Musso. And Musso looks incredibly angry, as per the usual. I wouldn't want to be Marcel Ford right now. I don't know about you. Actually, I would. I'm going to take the opposite approach here. It's a huge opportunity. And uh, like you said in the beginning of the match, he has a big upside. He wins here tonight. He puts himself right at the title shot against Mr. Fancy for a Grapple Pro Heavyweight Championship opportunity. I mean, what else would it do if you take Anthony Musso out? As much as it pains me to say, you make a great point, Wills. And Marcel Dorn, I think, in the back of his head, sees that this is the biggest opportunity of his career. You are, uh, you are right when you say that. And you're right, a win right here would definitely put Marcel Dorn towards the top of that pile. Defeating the last champion in a contest like this. You want to talk about putting yourself on the map when it comes to the terms of grapple play. That would entirely do that for Marcel Dorn. Absolutely. Iron sharpens iron. You don't want to face anybody lower than you. I mean, sometimes it happens. However, when you get an opportunity like this, you try to seize the moment. You absolutely have to seize it. And you mentioned Iron Sharpens Iron, so with that being said, I want to send a shout out to our sponsor for this great contest right here. We'll say the Pinto Returns at all the best in personal injury. If you need help and justice, those are your folks call them up right now. And afterwards, be sure to grab a slice of car the absolute best in Buffalo. Russo right now in control of Marcel Horn, stuffing him in the corner. It's still a feeling out process this early in the contest, but Russo starting to turn the tide right now, washing the face of this young man. Yeah, it's been a quite the stalemate so far. Oh, but Marcel Horn! This kid exploded out of the corner right there. Russo did not see that coming. Got him set. Oh, man, over. Big suplex. Looking for that leg drop. There it is. Right on the money. Is this enough wheels? Upset City, let's see. No, not quite yet. Rolling out of harm's way is Anthony Musso. Great ring awareness by Musso as well. Absolutely. Oh, and Marcel Thorn just made a mistake. You can never trust Musso on that part of the ring. And look what's next. You know what follows, wheels. was wise. Shot down goes Musso. He's done his homework. Well scouted by Marcel Thorne. Dodging a big time chop that would ripple his chest. But not to be. Absolutely not, Wheels. And I'm starting to believe as this contest goes on, Marcel Thorne knows how big this opportunity is. And Anthony Musso on the outside just showing straight frustration. Stay tuned, folks. This one's going to get a little interesting real quick. Thanks for tuning in. Anybody that loves Grapple Pro, I highly suggest you come and check us out at the Walleye Association Club in Hamburg, New York, October 26th for The Haunting Volume 2. The owner and operator, Mikey Everynight, will be in action against that man right there inside the ring, Anthony Musso. He, uh, I interviewed him after, that, after the event last time, last month in September here. And uh, Mikey had a lot to say. We're going to be putting that out very soon. And uh, 
the disrespect that Musso has done over the past months at Grapple Pro, Mikey has had enough, and he's, he's looking to put a stop to it and lacing up the boots one last time to get inside that ring October 26th. There is nobody better to take care of this Musso problem than Mikey every night himself. And you mentioned disrespect wheels. It went to another level tonight. Oh, wait a minute, Marcel Thorne. But as I was saying, it went to another level tonight with Musso bringing out that old daddy yeah championship. Mikey Everett's not going to react kindly to that situation, and folks, if you want to see a personal situation explode into a downright nasty fight, get your tickets right now for October 26th. This is going to be wild, and I'm not so sure the South Towns Walleye Association can contain the contest that will be Mikey Everett and Anthony Musso. It's going to be a barn burner, to say the least. Absolutely, and Marcel Thorne right now, he's starting to get in a bad position right here. These kidney shots from Musso, oh, but Thorne answering it right back. Thorne refusing to die right now. You gotta love, you gotta love the will of this kid to win, the will of this kid to stay in things. He's got him set right now, but with that elbow rocked him. Thorne refusing to quit, Wills. You gotta love the moxie of this young man. Yeah, he has an answer for everything that Musso has thrown at him. Like I said, seizing the opportunity is something that is going through his head throughout this whole match. He's got to get the job done. Oh, hard Irish whip into the corner, slowing the pace a bit. Musso wise to the trick. Oh, oh man, right back to that knee. you got to believe he's going to be looking for that knee bar at some point. Yeah, hyper extending that knee is going to put Marcel Thorne in a stretcher if he keeps on working at that knee, that's for sure. And a pin, Karen in place, one, only good for one. And you gotta believe Anthony Musso working on his leg eventually, and if he hooks that heel, this thing is over for Marcel Ford. He's gotta get out of this situation, and he's gotta do it quickly. Shots to the top of the head. Musso is just on fire right now. It's like a shark that taste some blood in the water circling around. Once again, you gotta give it to Marcel Thorne, fighting for his life, trying to stay alive right here. Most would have been down already, but Marcel Thorne's still going, but for how long? Suplex in the center of the ring. Right on the blood, hooking the leg, this is gonna do it. No, not quite yet. Karen says two, still only two. Anthony Musso staying on Marcel Thorne right now. Thorne fighting back, trying to get out of this predicament. He's going to have to have a lot more like action like this here if he's going to do just that. Let's see. Musso, oh, and once again, shoulder to the jaw. That's enough to battle on man's point. Oh, and the big boot! Wheels the big boot! Where's Marcel Thorne finding this? It's about training hard. Scouting your opponents, hitting the weight room. That's where he's finding it. He's, he goes. he's ready for this big opportunity. I gotta say, man, I'm impressed. Marcel Ford. Sidewalk slam right there. Hook of the leg. Karen at two. Just two. And this is the closest Anthony Rich has been to being pinned in quite some time. Marcel Ford taking this man to the limit. Does he have what it takes? Is there enough juice left in the body? Is that leg too far damaged? These are all questions we're gonna have answered. Stay tuned, stay with us. But Anthony Musso, all big forearm shot from Ford. Trying to take this thing to the end and see if Drew. He's got Musso down to a knee. Musso looks like he has no idea where he is right now. But that leg, that leg's got real damage wheels. This is not a good idea. What's the one thinking? Trying to risk it all. Sometimes that's what you have to do to succeed here in Grapple Pro. Oh no. Oh. Spine buster off the second rope. Good night, Thorne. Just oh. Two. oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Thorne's gotta get free right now. You know what Musso's looking for. Buffalo Crab locked in. weight coming down on the back of Marcel Ford. In addition to the bend in those already damaged legs, he's gonna have to give it up. Got nowhere to go, but he's rolling over. No. Oh, wait a minute, Musso still got that leg. Oh, shot right to the blood basket. 
Both go through, so Paul Needham hit Marcel forward. One more shot. Let's see. Oh, no. That leg gave out. Yep. The damage has been done to the knee. Ooh. Down the moments, Anthony Musso. Oh, wait a minute, if he hooks that heel. There it is. Locked. Locked in center of the ring. Can Listen he, to Thorne scream. Can he get to the bottom rope, though? He's no. He's going to try. And I don't blame him, Lewis. Lives to fight another day. He's done a great job in the match, but does not get the job done. Anthony Musso, your winner here tonight, Monday night. He had a tough time, though. He had a tough time. Marcel Thorne pushed Musso to the absolute limit. To see these guys in action, make sure you check us out October 26th over in Hamburg, New York at the Walleye Association Club. And uh, I'll be there, Kramars. I look forward to seeing the beautiful crowd that we bring out every single live event. And you want to check out more Grapple Pro Check us out this Thursday night, 7.30 Eastern Standard Time over on YouTube and Facebook Live. Yeah.